Hello and welcome to this tutorial about making a menu. Um, to demo this to you I'm going to uh, copy the ICT website folder um, and so that we can muck about with it. So I'm just going to click it and then move, oh, copy it, sorry, not move it, into demo. Click on OK. Um, right, so if we go into demo, right, I'm just going to go and first of all click on edit and properties and change this name so I don't get everything confused to um, demo website. Now inside the demo website folder there are two folders. There they are. One is called construction and one is called pages. The pages folder simply contains all the different pages that I've made so far for the ICT website. So for example if I click on clubs you'll see this is the website. So here we have the menu at the top and then we have the clubs page underneath it. Um, and you'll see that um, every uh, every one that I have, um, GCC Computing, has the same structure. So just at the bottom, the content changes, and that's it. So the important thing is, is how do you establish the menu? Because the menu is going to be consistent throughout all of your pages. So I'm going to go up into here, and I put the menu inside the construction folder, just so I know where it is when I come back to it, um, and and that's what we do and first of all this is the menu here and I'll show you once I've created the menu I go and create a page that just has the menu on it and the menu alone um, and that's important because that's part of every page so if I make a change to the menu system it will automatically update through all of the pages in the website um, so you make one copy of the menu and use that copy inside every other page and I'll show you how to do that first of all though how do we make a menu? Let's go and have a look at this menu. Um, this is quite simply, so I've chosen to call this admin and I've got the home page about the department, contact us and FAQs, and then the year groups, whole school, and web tools. So um, so say we didn't have that at all, uh, there'd be no way to navigate around all the different pages. So I'm going to create a new menu and show you how to do it from scratch, um, and then hopefully we'll be able to um, you'll understand how to do that for your department then. So, new and menu. Um, you can see it comes up blank, just menu, new menu on it. And I think this is where I can give it a name here. So, I'm going to call it demo menu. And then I'm going to add a sub menu item. So, all I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to call this year, year groups, like so. Um, and when I click off here, you can see that text will change to year groups. If I check on if I wanted year group, I just change that and it would change there. So that's how you edit each one. You always have to make sure you're clicked on the right item on the right hand side um, to do this. Um, so now I want year seven to be underneath here. When I click on year group, it goes to year seven. So I'm going to add a sub menu, click on that sub menu, and type in year seven like so. I have to click back onto year groups, add new sub menu, um, click on it over here, and then type in year eight, like so. Um, and then that's that. I'll just do one more. Oh, you see, I've made a mistake there. And what I've done is I've added it, and I've added year nine underneath year eight. So if I click on here now and I call it year nine, um, that's great, but it's in the wrong place. So I can just drag that up and put it. Did you see how I did that? Just drag it around and change things. You see, I can put it back up to the top level like that, inside year seven, by doing, can I put it inside year seven? No, I can't. Um, so, um, but I can put it um, underneath year eight where it's supposed to be. Right, so say that's what I'm after, is just one simple menu item with three sub-menus. The next thing to do is to go and link these items to the pages that I've created for them. And I'm gonna use the pages from the ICT website. So I have to go click on link and then go to shortcuts. Um, and then I have to remember where, I've, where I'm creating my website. So in this one, it's in Department Drafts, ICT Drafts. I changed the name of ICT to ICT Drafts in this area because I was getting confused between the two um, in this navigation area. So I wanted to make sure I could remember it like so in my personal folder. And then inside Demo, Demo Website, Pages. It takes a long time. And there's Third Form ICT, so I double-click that. Um, equally, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. What's quite annoying, you can see, is that um, it does not 
go back to the same folder that you were just in. It doesn't remember where you were, um, like when you save a document in uh, on a computer. So um, that's quite annoying. And you can see you have all of this clicking to do. So it does take some time. What am I have to lower for? And that's that. Um, so I'm going to leave year nine not clicked, and I'm now going to show you how this menu behaves. Um, so there it is, the demo menu. Um, now I'm going to show you the page I created with just the menu in it. No, I'm not. I'll turn that off because what I did there is I used a crystal menu, which is more complicated, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, or I'll show you it quickly, but I'm not going to show you how to build it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page and call it um, demo site menu and click on OK and then I'm going to open that and edit this document. Now this is where a menu becomes into its own and you have to make your sort of template um, component of all the pages that are going to be on your website. So how do we do that? Um, so uh, first of all I am going to click on collaboration, am I? structure. It's going to be in structure. And here, at the end of this structure tab, you have all the menu icons. If you can't see them, you'll need to click on this arrow at the end. Um, and here they are. So you can choose from these different types of menus to put onto the page. Pull down menu, tree menu, combo box, crystal, and accordion. Now I'm not going to use a crystal menu in this point, but the other four will all work here. So first of all I'm going to use this um, pull down menu and you can see it just dragged the brick into, this, into the editable area and now I double click it to select it um, and this can get quite complicated so you just have to bear with me and try and follow click on the browse button go to my shortcuts um, and go and find out go and find locate the, um, the menu that I just created demo demo website construction demo menu just double click it and you can see here it comes now I'm just going to click on OK but it does show you what it behaves like here you see so that just does sound like that so let's go and see what that looks like on the web page um, are you kind let's preview it and if I click on here you can see when I go to year groups that happens now menus only really come into their own when you have a lot of content so when you have a lot of things, they actually make a difference. So what I'm going to do now is go back into here and I'm going to change the menu that I used from the demo menu to the ICT menu. Oh, I wish it would go straight back to where it got the thing from, but it doesn't. Uh, off we go. And then ICT. You can see why it's really, really important that you remember all of your... Um, you, that you create your folders accurately. Now you can see here um, that now I've got four parts because the other menu I've used um, is uh, much bigger and has many more components to it. I've added more things to it. So you can see how that demonstrates. Now if we double click back into here, so this is the editable page that we're on, um, and if we double click into the pull down menu, um, you can see here it's actually configured to be horizontal, which is why it's going across the top. And we want it, I'm going to change it to be vertical. So let's see, so you can see that's changed instantly. And that's like um, how it used to be before. Um, in a different um, video tutorial, I'll tell you exactly how to go and customize all of this. But uh, crudely, step one is selecting the menu and the type that you want it to be. Step two, click on next is the menu bar which is this blue with white writing on it and you can see these are all the different color choices that you have and you can change it to be the color scheme that you want um, you can have images involved you can have size of text so for example if I just switch this to extra large you can see it goes like that which is all a bit insane um, and double XL double X small is um, a bit much that looks about right a bit big maybe but it doesn't matter. Uh, then the next one is the submenu, and the submenus are obviously these ones here. So if you want to hover over these, when you hover over them, you want them to change colour. This is where you do it, um, and and it does all of that. And when you're finished, you click on OK. Now, so that's one version of the menu. Now let's do another version. So let's do the tree menu. So here's the tree menu. I've just dragged that into the editable space underneath the other menu. So I'm going to have lots of menus. Um, I have to go and choose the menu again, so we go through all of this, I'll just pause. 
So here's the demo menu and the ICT menu. I'm going to use the ICT menu again because it's bigger and shows more of what you want. And you just get this, which is like um, Windows Explorer looking in my computer or my documents on a Windows computer. Uh, again, you can change the text to be whatever it is that you want it to be um, and make it darker and change the color if you want to. So we can drop that down, for example, and put it into that funny color. Oh no, that's not very pleasant. Um, but again, you kind of choose what you want to do. Here, I'll make it as ugly as I can, and then you can see what's going on. So you get these boxes and the hovers and all of that, and that's what you're after. And we go and change the color of the text to something bright. And there, you see, isn't that lovely? Um, because this menu system is actually um, not restricted by any containers of any sort, uh, it's covering the whole width of the page. So what I would do for both of these is I would go onto the common tab and I would put in say a two column brick, drag it down and then I'd pull the menu into that column like so. But I would go and edit the two column brick so that the first column only occupied um, say what 20% of the page like so. And the second column occupies zero which means it will just fill up whatever's left. Click on OK and you can see that's happened like that and then I can just drag this brick underneath that one um, and you can see now they behave themselves slightly better. Again preview to see what it looks like and that's that. To open up these ones you have to go and do this. So that's two types of menu. So we've done um, the pull down menu and the tree menu when you hover over it tells you what they are. So let's go and have a look at the other two that are available to us. This is the combo box menu so I'll just go and put this one um, over here and double click to select the menu and I'll pause whilst I go and do this. So I put the ICT menu into here. It's this advanced thing. So you can look at width and background colour and font colour here, but I'm just going to leave those blank. Click on OK. So now I have a menu that does this, which is an interesting way of um you could see, so you you could create a little menu to be used in any other kind of page. Uh the last menu that we've got to look at is the um accordion menu and the accordion menu is the one that's used on the training um, so is that here yeah so it just does this and you can see and I'm not going to I haven't done anything to this menu it's just as it comes out of the box which I will show you now and I'll just pause while I navigate to this again so here we are with the demo and the ICT again I'll choose the ICT menu so you see more of what's going on there are lots of options here to do with colors and sub menu and you can choose how they're going to appear. I'm just going to use the default ones that come out of the box. Click on OK and you can see um, that that's how that menu it doesn't behave properly until you actually um, preview the site. So here you can see we've got four different types of menus um, which all are just different sort of containers really for the, the menu setup that you did in the first place. I'm going to show you the crystal menus in a separate video. Um, the other thing just to mention the, what I did um, for a website like this one for example is if I go and edit this page you will see that this here this whole area is one big nested page user component which is that brick there and this area here is the same so this sort of L shape with a title which appears on every page the user's name and the menu um, that is all one brick um, and and you, and you put a nested component inside it following a similar structure so all I did for that was to drag in a header across the top like so um, and that, I called that so that would be demo website and um, I'll just leave that like that so that would be your title and then all I did was pulled a nested component inside this area um, of the column and then publish and exit um, and that, let me just exit that, and that demo site menu page became how I started every single page on the website. Um, so you can do the same.